Books will be written about this one day as history is unfolding in front of us with the races to release AI. Google and Microsoft are now in a heated competition to see who will capture the attention of people using search engines by integrating AI into their own search. At least that's what we're getting a glimpse of. This all started back around 2017 where a research paper that was actually initially released by Google researchers discussed a new model for training AI called a transformer. Here's the paper in front of me called Attention is All You Need where a new simple network architecture, the transformer, based solely on attention mechanisms dispensing with reoccurrence and convolutions entirely was put forth and little did these researchers know that this was the spark that helped a small company called OpenAI with their own set of data models and researchers break through and start building their own transformer-based data model and ultimately lead to the result of ChatGPT. And over the years, OpenAI grew and tested their data model, pushing it to the limits and ever so slightly tweaking things in order to get what we see today in the sensationalized ChatGPT. Microsoft saw this benefit early on about how they could potentially use the data model and initially invested $1 billion of capital into OpenAI. This happened in 2019 and was intended to help OpenAI build artificial general intelligence. Now that's a lot of money, but don't worry, there's more coming here with other rounds of investment. But this initial investment was really to help OpenAI push further and train their AI, all probably in hopes that they become truly successful with this AI and maybe Microsoft can recoup this investment. After a few years, OpenAI was ready to release their research preview as we all know it now today, ChatGPT, and that really blew things up, gaining millions of users and some estimates even saying upwards of 100 million users all within a couple months of release. Everyone was starting to see the effects of releasing transformer-based AI to the masses, and Google was lurking in the background. Then the second round of investments came in from Microsoft at 10 billion this time. If you couldn't tell that they were serious about this, now you definitely can, by this tech giant aiming to remain at the forefront of generative artificial intelligence with its partnership with OpenAI. If you couldn't tell before that they were serious, they're definitely serious at this point. Why would a company like Microsoft invest this obscene amount of money, especially when they've racked up a billion already in investment. Well, the speculation here was to be able to put this in all of its products and give direct consumer access to the AI, including things like the Microsoft Office Suite, which is the world's leading set of Office tools, and of course, Bing, their search engine. With around 60% of revenue coming directly from their search engine alone, valued at around $150 billion, Google saw this as a huge threat and we can all see why. According to articles that stem from inside Google, the administration and employees were put on red alert to prevent OpenAI and Microsoft from affecting the source of revenue. And so the battle begins. Days after the Google red alert, as they're scrambling to figure out how they would combat the threat with their own AI and data model called Lambda, Microsoft seemingly was caught testing and integrating ChatGPT into its own Bing search engine with pictures featured on The Verge. This is what it sort of looked like. You can see someone in France here get a glimpse at what looks like a large text field allowing up to 1,000 characters where you can ask anything introduced on Bing. This is, of course, all the while when people were just randomly using Bing, they caught a glimpse of this. According to Verge, they asked, is this Microsoft's ChatGPT powered Bing? Bing users said a new Bing interface just appeared and disappeared this morning. Microsoft is reportedly integrating OpenAI's chatbot, ChatGPT, into its search engine with plans to announce this update soon. People and Google started to take notice and the battle just intensified. Google at this point must have been making large strides to try to incorporate their own AI, which they had been testing and developing since around 2016. Things had slowed down as far as the release goes since they ran into some concerning issues over the years, with even an AI tester claiming that the AI may be sentient. Regardless of this, two of the big reasons Google probably hadn't released an AI up until this point are probably, one, there was no competition and no real reason to release the AI and compete against themselves. Two, since they are the name brand when it comes to search, they more than likely wanted to make sure that the model was consumer ready and did not have any glitches, false results, 
or would be consumed by the public in such a way that it would ruin their reputation. So time was spent refining their model. Now here comes the wild part. In the last couple of days, there's been huge developments and this has really amplified things in the battle to AI. An announcement made by Google saying that Google was planning on releasing their own AI called BARD. That's based on the Lambda data model, which will be seemingly integrated into its own search engine. And they also claim that wider availability is coming in the next few weeks, according to The Verge. So Google is now working on a competitor to its open AI's chatbot, ChatGPT. The experimental conversational AI service is called BARD and is only being tested by a limited, probably internal group. And here is a basic example of what BARD would look like, where you could have a conversation below with BARD, really mimicking ChatGPT's setup, at least according to this screenshot. You ask a question and I assume you're going to be getting information up above. And this is probably pre-populated with some questions that you could use BARD to answer. And all this comes with a conference that Google plans on holding to make further announcements on Wednesday, February 8th, 2023. And basically at the same time, day after Microsoft also announced a non-live conference that will be showcasing something new. Perhaps this new conversational AI and data model that you'll be able to use with Bing. Hopefully we get a preview on how we'll all be using our search-based AIs soon and more information about the overhaul that they've been working on in the Bing search engine. Also, there's probably going to be some mention of how Microsoft plans on integrating AI with some of their other products as well, hopefully with things like Excel and Word, but who will be the first to implement? Which AI is more powerful? Does Bing stand a chance since they seem to be ahead in the race to release AI to the masses? Will we prefer one AI model to the other? We're living in a decade where more than likely our search engines and the tools we use are going to be revolutionized by AI, especially the way we search for things will seemingly be changed up forever. My predictions here is since Google has such a dominance and presence as a search engine, and it's pretty much synonymous as a name that is used to actually search for things, let me just go Google that for you, that if their AI offering is on par with OpenAI's, that they will still remain the dominant search engine. I also think that Microsoft will probably continue to dominate the Office suite of tools in that space while improving their tools even further by integrating the AI data model from OpenAI into their tools. We're all about to see this one unfold, so let me know what your predictions are in the race to AI in the comments section below. I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.